looks like. You guys are like, like this. Fix it. Oh! No. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Does this mean I'm not in focus now? Probably. Who knows? Not me. I'll just twirl around and still facing my problems. By the way, guys, do you like my haircut? I haven't done my hair today, but regardless, do you like my haircut? <laughs> That's exactly what I look like when I'm scrolling through my Twitter. Back on track. Hey guys, what's up? So it's 2016, surprise, surprise. I'm filming this video 15 days into it, so I'm a bit late, but I'm going to do it regardless. Brownlee was like, oh, here's a good video idea. 16 things I want to achieve in 2016. I started to write them down and I could only think of eight. So I have high hopes for this year. Eight things I aim to achieve in 2016. Such a cliche January video. Number one, do more things that make me happy. This includes YouTube. Of course it includes YouTube. YouTube makes me so happy. I love reading everyone's comments, seeing the likes I get. I hope that 2016 is filled with YouTube, you guys, and making videos for you. And discovering new music. I love discovering new music. It makes me so happy. Wow. Number two is be less guarded. Yes, that's right. I have a wall that I put up every single time I start talking to somebody that I might be interested interdicted I might be interested in and it is the worst thing that you can possibly do when you're trying to get to know someone more open and honest with what I'm feeling and I'm sorry about this lighting what is going on earth is weird number three is surround myself with positivity now I've had a few hard years which I'm sure anyone can ever understand in the world because everyone goes through a tough time. I have battled through anxiety, depression, really really bad stress and the HSC didn't help with that at all but since finishing high school I've managed to do pretty well when it comes to surrounding myself with positive people, positive energy, just positive vibes and I hope to continue that in 2016 because it honestly makes such a difference. If you are struggling then you need to take a step back, look at the people in your lives, look at your decisions and what you do, do more things that make you happy, do more positive things, less try thinking less negative, I know it's hard and I still struggle with it but the best thing you can do is try to change your mindset and what is running through your head. It's super hard and I'm not saying it's easy at all, but I'm still learning and I'm hoping in 2016 I can conquer it and I can start to feel more positive and more happy. Number four on my list is saying yes to more things. I am one of those people that likes to lay in their bed and do nothing all day. If somebody offers to do something with me, most of the time I'll turn them down. I'll hopefully be out and about, meet new people and be saying yes 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 I'll do that I'll go there I'll do that for you I'll pay for that that's okay yes I'll get it yes I'm fine yes 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 say yes to more things because I'm sick of saying no number five is confidence confidence is such a massive factor in my life that I do not have and I lack it a lot so in 2016 I aim to be more confident and more happy with who I am having confidence is definitely a very attractive factor about somebody and it's definitely mentally empowering. I want to be mentally empowered by my confidence. Cheesy, cheesy, cheese. Number six is meet new people. I am down to probably about two friends, two to three friends maximum that I actually see. I obviously have people online that I talk to and that but it's not the same when you can't hang out not to be an awful person. But I don't know how to word my words. I'm terrible with English. What are words? Meet new people because I want more people, more different people to hang out with and I want to meet different people and learn how to talk to people because I can't do that at the moment. Number seven is a massive one for me. I want to be more myself. 2015 was a massive, massive year for me, discovering who I am as a person, certain things about me, just learning about myself and learning to embrace certain things about myself and take on certain things that I didn't necessarily 
try to think about before 2015. I kind of just pushed it away and 2015 really brought that out in me and I embraced it and it is a part of who I am today. So 2016 hopefully will mean that I get to be the person that I discovered and I get to go out there and I can be myself. And number eight, the one I am most excited about, traveling. I have organized a massive, massive year for me for traveling, for me to get out of my shell, for me to discover the world and I am so beyond excited. I'm going to London, I'm going around Europe and then I have a one-way ticket to Canada and I don't know when I'll be back and that is going to be such a massive thing for me to do but I honestly cannot wait. I'm going by myself and it's going to be amazing. I reckon traveling is going to bring all eight of these goals together and will make me into the person that I've always wanted to be. 16 is going to be a massive, massive year for me. And I can't wait! It's going to be incredible! Make sure you comment below at least one thing that you aim to achieve in 2016. I hope 2016 treats you well and I hope it treats me well as well. As me well as well, blah blah. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!